I think about all that's left is us going up to those crushers. Because, yeah, we need explosives or underwater to go this way. Well, I was hoping for the magnet before I got in there. But maybe that's just not a thing. Dang it. Dang it. Okay, kill what you can, which doesn't actually appear to be much. The reason you want the magnet is for that, specifically. With the magnet, you can just walk over top of them. But if I can get up there with a shield, then that will work just the same. Killing what I can, though. Of course. Made it. Don't care. Get me up. To that. Got a wall of turrets. of it. I don't think... Got it. I don't think I can get that gem yet, but whatever. Wow, I didn't get hit. Shocking. Can I make that? Oh, wow, I made it. Okay, without the ability to attack underwater, there's not much we can do here. So ideally, you want to keep... Ah, I think this is where you get the, um, the thing. Ideally, you want to keep your bubble through this. It's not easy, but it's very doable. Biggest reason when you keep your bubble is because this doesn't always line up right here. I went too high. And I have in fact seen those get off sync where it's impossible to get through without taking a hit. Uh, since we're playing the armored robot though, we may, well, well may, we're gonna have an easier time with that because we can take two hits instead of just one. Can y'all, like, not be shooting at me while I'm doing this? Dang it. Get no invulnerability frames. For the... The armored robots. Armored hit. Like, it's a hit. You get a hit. Really, if I could just make it to that save point, that's all we really need. I'm not gonna make it. I made it! Just get it! Oh, we got it! Alright. Okay, we can't go left because we can't attack. Thank <laughs> you. 
Crab boss is easy boss. Don't duck there, get in the thing. Crab boss is easy boss. We're gonna die, but whatever. We're gonna get hit, but whatever. And we get the harpoon. Okay, with the ability to attack underwater, the world opens up to us. Okay, let's kill him, grab this while we're here. And you may notice that in there, which is gonna be a nightmare to get to, but that's okay because we have two hits. So worst case scenario, we can just grab it and die. So once we get the key, we wanna come back here. Wow, didn't get hit again. Okay, now that we can attack underwater, we have a number of other options. Go ahead and grab you while we're here. Specifically, we can go down here. Whatever, I'm just grabbing that and getting out. Get our bubble back. We'll go in there eventually. We're gonna need to eventually, as much as I don't want to. All right, kill these guys. Dang it. Still have all my hits magically. This guy's got a lot of health, and you're probably just gonna die, but there is a save point, like, right over there. But if you really want to, you can also do this, which is literally the exact same trick that I used before. The only problem is you can still get hit by, like, jellyfish and crap, if you don't clear them out, anyway. Got him. Go kill some jellyfish. <laughs> Nothing else down here, just a boss to kill. I mean, a boss to kill, and I guess the, uh, crystal. Now, the boss is dead, though. Barrier's open. We can go get the... Hey. Hey. these guys for completion's sake. Fine, I'll try.
try harder. And now we have explosives. Uh, I guess I should go down here and get these. Do I want to try to get that now? Might as well. I'm going to have to do it at some point. There's actually a r pretty respectable amount of uh, very precise movements you have to do to get through that. Dang it! Well, I think I got all of the things. So that's kind of a whatever. Nah, there's more up top. Uh, like as exam as an example, I have to bonk I bonk my head here, and then I just let off jump as I move over. Here, I have to bump up almost immediately to not fall into the spikes because your hitbox is so low. I use the same bonk thing to get through that. So you can't really think of it as, like, I want the robot to stay between the things. It's closer to wanting your... Dang it. Wanting your tires to stay between the things. It's still doable, but... There we go, we did it. And we never have to go through that again. More damage. Good deal. And now, man, we can just go places and go on an adventure. Let's go fight, uh, let's go fight Bat Boss. I don't know if you get anything for Bat Boss, do you? I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think you get anything for Bat Boss. Like, there's the boss store down there with the nine Jimmy Jams. Oh, we can go up here, though. Well, that's a whole lot of stuff I'm never getting. Okay, so, we I mean, obviously we want both of those, but I, well, I don't really need my shield. So this is where I rem um, mentioned before that, remember that, um, oh, we need magnet. We don't have magnet, so I can't get these anyway. All right, well, we'll just come back to that once we have magnet. We have our explosives. So we can go in there if we just hop out. Where was that? Was that up just over there? No, it was not. Or was it? I don't think it was. Pretty sure it was over here. Okay. I don't understand what the purpose of this is. It's 
just this little path that takes you up over here where you could already go anyway. That's where we need to go. I could potentially get that. But I'm really down here for these. Dang. If I had the bubble, I could have made that. Or, you know, the magnet. Which is what you're supposed to have. There we go. Because you get a lot more iframes out of that bubble than you do out of your out of your armored body. Okay, so we have the triple shot. We can shoot underwater. We can go down here. Open that up without even trying. If I can get that, I guess. A lot of bats. I mean, I'm also walking explosions, so it's fine. Okay, so I saw a bat escape down this way. Did it die to the rain? Yes. easiest plan is to throw myself at a wall until it or I break. And that lets us fight this boss. Remember orb boss, and by orb I mean cube boss. There's a save point right outside, so it's not like a big deal. But this boss is... Interesting. The, the layout is interesting. Remember, you can just kill one and it doesn't really matter. You're also safe as long as you do that. So you can just kind of look that way and look that way. Notably less dangerous. Once there's only one. It's an interesting fight, but it's also not a hard fight. Like, I like it being mixed up for the sake of an extra. And I feel like that's all you really... That's what I want out of an extra. I just want it mixed up. I want something cool and different. I don't necessarily need it to be the hardest thing in the world. I just wanted to hit the save point and get my hit back. Oh, what? So 
this point, we have pretty much all of our power-ups. There's one more damage up somewhere. Let's make sure I have my double jump. Had to fall there. I didn't have another double jump. I didn't have another double jump, so I'd have to eat a hit, which is fine, but I wanted to have the bubble as a hit. Since I felt like it would be... What? Wait, can I just jump that high? No, I cannot. I think I'm letting off the jump button just before I hit the ceiling so I don't actually latch on to it. Oh, never mind, you can just make that. Save point, what do we got going on over here? How y'all doing? This is a war zone. This whole area is a nightmare. And by nightmare, I mostly mean you've got a checkpoint right here and you're fully powered, so just like plow through. I mean, you're gonna die a lot, but it's fine. They're gonna die a lot too. As long as you're making a headway, you're good. Okay, let's kill them. And you see the treasure that they are guarding. Unfortunately, killing these turrets up top is kind of difficult. Killing those guys in the corner is even harder. Like, I can- I'm hitting both of them, I can see it. Oh, that's one. You know, yeah, let's grab these while we're down here. So if you've been watching the counter- the shard counter in the corner, you will likely have noticed... that we have not been collecting a lot of them. And a lot of them are actually held near the end of the game, behind, like, in groups behind barriers. So there we go, we've done everything that we can do up here now. We are cleaned out. What was 
was down here. Anything? Yeah, just that. So that area is clear cleared out. Like, clean, clean. And that just goes up top, which isn't to anything. So we never need to come in this left area again. I'm not looking forward to the Crusher testing, but let's take a look over here. Because surely there's more we can do up here. There's so much to explode. Okay, the down path is just the boss. So I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, you can see there's nothing over there. As much as there is to explode up here, there's not actually a lot to collect up here. Because the stuff isn't hidden inside blocks. So that is... the upper left done. The upper right done. So middle left and upper right are 100% clean. So, I think going up this way actually leads to the end. Well, let's go ahead and clear it out. Can I kill that guy through here? Sure can. So we have to use the mag- oh no, never mind, it's just that. So, same deal, get rid of the first one, eat damage for the second one. So that's the top route here, clean. So nothing up there. And we can just do that because we can't make the jump. And where was my jump? So that's that area clean. Good job. Okay, so yeah, there's nothing down this way. This way leads to Bat Boss. already taken out. But now we've killed... No, we haven't killed all the bosses. There's still the one left. So those nine are waiting for us.
these are also waiting for us. So this is where I mentioned before about the hanging on the ceiling reserving your jump, but not refreshing it. So that was just a single jump. So I need to fall and then double jump in order to get up there. Now if I want the key, that's going to be just a little trickier. Because I have to save my hit. Oh, actually, you know what? I can get rid of that. Uh, using the guy just below it. But it doesn't really matter, because I can also just do this, and then eat a hit there. Golden key, that's the last power-up, so we're good. This area is clean, except for that, which we're going to have to come back to at the very end. Super Golden Door, which was down there that we saw. Flashing light warning. So this area is clean. Except for the Golden Door down here. Dang it. Just kill me. I need that hit. Okay, so you ha yeah, you have to eat the hit in order to get through here. So you're guaranteed not to have the hit. I've still got my armored hit. And we're going to see if I use it here. There's the star. So that's this area done. So we're actually... We're actually completely clean now. Except for the crusher area. So I was waiting for the magnet for this reason. Just makes that a lot easier. Yeah, so this is our final area. Where we gotta go to collect all the goods. And you'll notice these are off pattern now. Shocked that I did not get hit. So we do have to go around. Oh yeah, they're all off pattern. Got him. That's all that matters. Okay, now we're going to want to save our hit here because we're absolutely going to need it because the crushers are not synced. Well, they are synced, and that's the problem.
least I don't have to worry about timing too much, right? Okay, so I think the only thing down there was Crab Boss, so we never have to go that way. Just me, or are we getting more... more stuff? More of the little gold things. You're gonna do this again, aren't you? You're gonna put a jump, like, within a pixel's reach of what I'm capable of. Make me cheat again, I'll do it. Okay, I can make it. there weren't more bats in the bat cave. The well, bats are hanging out here instead. I was just refreshing, make sure I had my double jump, because we're gonna need it right here. There's actually nothing of really importance in here. Like, you can do that. And that brings us to what is effectively the final boss. So first things first... Getting rid of these turrets. Got him. Man, good couple well-placed shots, and that did it. So remember those four crystals right there, because we're going to have to come back for them. Also, crab party. Crab party. Would have been a good place for crab boss. Just have a nice big crab party. It's fishy. I like that one crystal up there on top because that tells you exactly what you need to do. 
Gotta go over fishy and open the door. And then you hang left to get these four. And then... You gotta go back to the boss bat room. I'm just gonna do this and go through this one. He's remember the boss bat room had the barrier that required you defeating all of the bosses in order to open. And the final boss was the digger bot. Where was bad boss? It's down here, right? Let me tell you, I actually had a hard time collecting these nine. These last nine. I got to 91 and I was like, I don't even know what to do. That's it, right? And like, I knew somewhere I had seen a door that required beating all of the bosses to open, but I had no idea where I saw it. Playing through this a second time has actually helped a lot with committing things to memory and remembering where things were. Um, like, I had a lot of... I didn't remember where that door was, but I remembered now... Unfortunately, this means we have to do this again. Oh wait, I can go up there. Oh, no, I can't. Really? Really wish you could jump just like a pixel higher. Instead, we gotta go through this, which is actually sort of challenging. So we save a hit here. This is lined up right, so that makes the job easier. There we go. The hit, we're fine. Oh, I missed a bat. I think I came back. We have this really stupid jump again. Well, on the upside, I tried to hack my Y coordinate, but it wasn't having any of that. Oh, crap. But I did find it's relatively easy to give myself infinite jumps. Which is a power that I hold I will only use for good. Such as being soft locked in a room. All right, though. 115, sub two hours. Heck. That is a whole game. That is a whole heckin' game. I can beat Super Metroid faster than that.
And as much as I wanted to keep these to one video per, there is no way I am putting this up as one video. But that is the end of Robot Once Fishy. Remix isn't so bad. Remix isn't so bad, but the beginning is rough, if, especially if you're not playing, if you're playing with a basic robot and not tank bot. Um, the beginning is real rough. Once you can start fighting back, it gets a little better. But there's just so much. Like, you just don't have the firepower to effectively clear rooms out until way late. So you're just dealing with a lot of that for so long. I think it works. I still think it works well, though. I think, even granted that it's a remix, I think I would cut down the number of enemies some. And it would not hurt the game to make some of those very precise jumps like one block shorter. It really would not hurt. Because even when you're not playing as tank bot, like the one that I, the room that I got soft locked in, that's super precise jump. Like normally. If you come in with the shield, then you can like eat a hit and jump out. Um, but tank bot just can't get out of that room. Not without the shield. But anyway, that's that. I think we've seen the game history on Fishy. Which means that is it for Robot Once Fishy. Until next time, everyone, when we move on to Robot Once Ice Cream. Which, I liked Robot Once Fishy. I feel like the dev went a little overboard. We'll see how Robot Wants Ice Cream holds up.